I think that people tend to think of sociopaths more as men, and then which probably gives female sociopaths the advantage in that people are less likely to, um, like the Elizabeth Holmes, like people who are really manipulative and really good at it. Um, and and part of how they're able to succeed is that people don't understand their motives, or people will assume that people behave rationally, even if rationally means, it's like Anthony Strange's, you know, it would have made more sense if he had gotten all this money out of me and, you know, put it in an overseas account and then ditched me and got on a plane to Mexico. Like, everybody would understand that more. Whereas, you know, the way things happened and he dragged me around the country and, like, what were we doing in Tennessee? And then why didn't, like, nothing really makes any sense. But, and and also all of the things that he did to me and had me do, it was as if all of those things together only make sense if his primary goal was to maximally destroy me and also make it, like, have me burn all my bridges and make it so I'll never recover. And when you read a book like that, you understand that that's that's what he wanted. Like, that's his life. So that's, can you explain that It's like a game. Further? Like, what... What do you think? It's about power, and do, it's a do, game. Do you think he understood the long-term goals he has, or was it the short-term game of it that he enjoyed, the ability to destroy you? Well, yeah, it was the short-term game of it. To control he, another human? Yeah. And also, I think for him, like, their motivations are just different. So, you know, he spent a year incarcerated because he never got out on bail, but then he got out. Um He's but out of prison now. He got out before I went in to serve my time, which was um, particularly, you know, <laughs> like psychologically, I had to try really hard not to be infuriated. And, um, But anyway, so I think for him, you know, the consequence of spending time in jail is sort of like an inconvenience. You know, it's like life is a game. And so he wouldn't, feel if you're not capable of being emotionally hurt then you're you know you have immense power because you can go around and do things and people can't hurt you it's like a superpower and he did this for people who are not familiar i guess he did this to other women yes yes i think it was in the documentary that his i guess ex-wife from somewhere else was Florida. Florida. Of course, Florida. <laughs> Sorry. S- strong strong words. Well, it's just like when there's the weirdest story about, you know, people eating Tide Pods and then yeah. doing crazy. It's like it's always in it's always in Florida. So I feel like whenever crazy thing. So to me it makes sense that he would have spent time in Florida before and that's where Crazy in a good way. His, and and I mean that on an insult on him. I also like she's an amazing person. Yes, yes. So it's it's like it's him that I'm making the like Florida is a bit weird. <laughs> yes, he he manipulated her as well, lied to her, mm-hmm. that kind of things. 